three, two, one, let's go! What's good, my beautiful channel family? Today is Friday, February 23rd. Another day the Lord has made. This is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Guys, let us say thank you for tuning back in with us. As always, your love and support means the world to us. And before we get into this video, could you give it a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on? That way you'll be notified every time we upload an end times video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of our channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And guys, that son's name is Jesus, and he's coming back for his church soon. And guys, that's facts. Now to today's End Times video. Okay guys, let's start off by looking at four scriptures. First one, Daniel 12, 11. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that make it desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. And then Daniel 12, 12 says this, Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Revelation 11, 3, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. And finally, Revelation 12, 6, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared to God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Now, family, all four of those verses are connected to the time of Jacob's trouble, which Daniel 9.27 tells us will be seven years or one week, and will begin when a covenant, treaty, or an accord is confirmed. That word confirmed means made greater, expanded on. Now, family, in the verses we read, there were three day counts, 1,260, 1,290, and 1,335. So family, what I did is this. I calculated those three day counts from the date of an event in 2020 that I believe was the first step in Daniel 9.27. And guys, what I found was astonishing and mind-blowing. So the date we will use to calculate from is September 15th, 2020. Guys, that is the day the Abraham Accords was signed. Family, I think we all remember September 15th, 2020. When on the White House loan, Israel made an accord with Morocco, the UAE, and Bahrain. It was brokered by Donald Trump and Jerry Kushner, and Donald Trump has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for his work on this. And it was a historic peace deal on so many different levels. Very prophetic. And like I said, I believe it was the first step in the Daniel 9:27 covenant with many. So our day count will go from the day that this accord was signed. Now family, let's get into the numbers. Let's do this. 1,260 days after the Abraham Accords was signed will be February 27th, 2024. Family, that's just a few days away. That will be the 14th day of Lent. But family, check this out. That will be 40 days from the April 8th solar eclipse. Interesting, right? Now, family, this next one right here, it will blow your mind. 1,290 days after September 15th, 2020, is March 28th, 2024. It will be the 40th day of Lent when they commemorate the 40 days that Jesus fasted and was tempted by Satan. But family, check out this next part right here. This is absolutely wild. The following day will be Shabbat Parah, Shabbat of the Red Heifer. Family, that is a real thing. The Sabbath of the Red Heifer. Now family, remember, the 1,290 day count come from this verse right here, Daniel 12, 11. And what is it talking about? And from the time that the daily sacrifice, sacrifice, shall be taken away, and the abomination that make desolate set up, there shall be 1,290 days. Family, that part, the daily sacrifice. Now, family, is it a coincidence that 1,290 days after the Abraham Accords were signed that there's a Sabbath 
for the red cow, for the red heifer. And family, there's a lot of talk on that day that they could actually sacrifice the red heifer. And family, I think it's a strong possibility that they sacrifice the red heifer that day. The older that red heifer gets, the more chance it's going to get blemished. And I want to say this, if they do end up doing it that day, I'm not saying it was fulfillment of that scripture, but what it is, is a foreshadow of it. And that means that that verse is coming next. But it's no coincidence, 1290 days after the Abraham Accords were signed, we come to the Sabbath of the red heifer and the possibility that it could be sacrificed. Think about that, family. Now let's look at the last day count, 1,335 days. That would bring you to May 12th, 2024. And family, that's right there around Israel's birthday. And also I want to note, it'd also be Mother's Day that day. Now family, let me tell you what really stood out to me and what I think is important about this. February 27th, which is only a few days away, that's 1,260 days after the Accords was signed. And February 27th is also 40 days before the Great American Solar Eclipse. Now, considering that the Abraham Accords were signed in America, family, I don't think that's a coincidence. And a few videos ago, we talked about how this solar eclipse is also a 40-day warning for America. 40 is a number that the Most High God loves to use, family. And this is what really, really stood out to me, and I think this is very significant. March 28th, 1,290 days after the Abraham Accords was signed, that is the final day of Lent, and the next day is the Sabbath, and it's Sabbath Parah, the Sabbath of the red cow family. And you know the red cows were recently blamed for everything we've seen go down since October 7th. And even the fact that they're talking about doing the sacrifice on the day of the red cow, family, what a very interesting time to be alive. I don't think it's a coincidence that these day counts are lining up with events that are based on the Abraham Accords signing day family. I don't think that's a coincidence at all. I'm not saying it's fulfillment of them, but I'm saying it is definitely a sign. In the comment section below, I would really love to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know what you thought. Family, let me close the video by saying this. If they sacrifice that red cow, it's just sad because Jesus was the final sacrifice. He was born of a virgin, lived a sinless, perfect life. At the age of 33, was nailed on the cross. He laid down his life for us on the cross to pay our sin debt. Man, that is true love right there. And the enemy thought he had defeated Jesus because Jesus lay dead in a tomb for how long, guys? Three days, three days, three days. But death could not hold our Messiah. The tomb could not hold our Messiah. He defeated death. He defeated the grave. Then he ascended to go be with his father, the Most High God. And on this channel, we know he's coming back for us soon. Family, if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today could be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and just. He will forgive your sins. And family, that's facts. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and share it. It helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because you see, here on this channel... You guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. No request is too small, and no request is too big for our God, and that's facts. And family, if you keep me in your prayers, I greatly appreciate it. Got a neurologist appointment here in a couple hours, and tomorrow me and the family and a couple other people are going to hit the streets to do some outreach work. So your prayers would be greatly appreciated, family. And if you want to make a donation to the Watchman Adam News Channel, we have donation links in the description box below. It's always greatly appreciated if you can. But the biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. Well, family, to the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you and remember, let's go Arpazzo! Take care, family, and also remember... Jesus is coming soon. See you in the sky, guys.